Hello everyone, my name is Przemek Chojecki and you're watching my YouTube channel. This episode is about hiring data scientists and it should be useful both to people who want to hire good data scientists as well as to data scientists who want to find a new and good job. So basically, I've been involved in the process of hiring data scientists for the uh, past uh, two months pretty intensively and before that uh, many more times for different companies, for different projects, both for my projects, for projects uh, run by my colleagues. Uh, so I will share what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a data scientist uh, and what should be on the CV. Uh, if you want to be well, well seen and uh, find a good job. So first of all, uh, you of course, if, if you having a computer science degree, that's perfect. If not, but if you have like a PhD or you are doing something scientific, that's also perfect and that's putting you on the, on the top. Uh, however, you can still make your way into data science if you are just running a course. Uh, but if you have only like a different kind of education, like you went to economics, you, you have like history classes, then the key is to actually show a portfolio of projects you've done before in the past. Uh, like for example, Ideally, you are running uh, through the competitions on Kaggle uh, and you are good in that competitions. You, have at least, uh, you are at least in like top 10 uh, of the competitors for so some, of the, some of the competitions. Then another thing is that some of the projects you've done were open source and they are posted on GitHub, on your own personal GitHub. And the GitHub link is in your CV uh, because that's something I always uh, verify and check. Uh, if you are more into the science kind of thing, then if you have any kind of publications related to data science, of course, that's a plus. But if not, then any kind of white paper, any kind of blog, any kind of being out there and showing what you did is also fantastic. Uh, so please write the write up of your projects because that can be used for evaluation and it can show to your potential employee uh, whether you're what you're doing and how good is that uh, so if you were running a courses you should put that in a CV like you could probably run a course on Coursera or uh, Udemy or anything like that uh, that's great uh, there are many classes online uh, but the thing to remember is that apart from completing the course you should also be able to show the actual work you've been uh, you've done and you've put online uh, and then we're coming to the questions you might get asked so and th those are the questions that uh, if you're an employee then you should ask your potential uh, if you're an employer you should ask your potential employees and the question is what was the hardest in the in what you were doing so if you were doing the product yourself and you if you are cutting yourself then you would be able to precisely pinpoint all the hard things about the models you've built uh, and for example why the training took so long what kind of architecture you used and so on whereas if you just copied the code from other githubs or other people online then actually you won't be able to answer that question convincingly so that's like the top question uh, you probably will be asked and you should ask if you're looking for good data scientists so look at the githubs uh, look at on what kind of projects they are running and uh, ask questions about what was the most difficult part in building those models and uh, how did they learn about the techniques that they used. So that's, that's another thing. Uh, yeah, so, so the primary goal is to show in your CV that you're pretty fluent in uh, one programming language. So that probably be Python in, in, in terms of data science, but that can be also C++ or R uh, in some cases. Uh, and then show a, por a portfolio of projects you've done in the past and that you'll be able to explain what you did, what kind of models you've built, what were the challenges uh, and what you learned along the way. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching that. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you liked my video, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode. Thank you.